Rugby Union's Border League will continue next season despite the controversy surrounding this season's competition. When games were scrapped, resulting in Gala reaching the final, having played just one match, the pool system will be replaced by a much simpler league structure. Meanwhile, Melrose could wrap up the Kings of the Sevens title this weekend, two weeks before the last tournament. Stuart Cameron reports. Austin Lockington of Melrose is becoming quite an attraction on the circuit, scoring tries for fun and dazzling the crowds with some breathtaking play and picking up awards along the way, including last Sunday at Peebles. He's expected to play this weekend when the circus moves to Kelso and Earlston. The Kelso Sevens take place on Saturday. They've gone again with the pool system, where the top four teams from each group will contest the semi-finals. Pools B and C are all border affairs, while Melrose are in with two city teams. On Sunday, it's the eagerly awaited Earlston tournament. The finalists from last Sunday, Hoyk and Melrose, should meet again at the quarter-final stage. One of Melrose's squad is former Earlston High School pupil Ross Ovens. His team are looking to make it five Earlston wins in a row. It's obviously a special tournament for Melrose. We kind of class it as our sort of second tournament, and obviously Melrose being our, our first one, but then Earlston we really do like to target, and it's a good sevens tournament as well, and all the guys like to play in Earlston sevens tournament, so it's a hard a hard team to get in usually. We've certainly seen some real talent in the Melrose seven squads over the years, but how does the class of 2014 compare with those days? I don't know if it's the best line ever, but you know we do have a cracking squad. Um, beginning of the sevens training before gala, we had not far short of 20 guys going ham and tongue each other at Melrose dying to get in the squad, but we've got the depth there if we need it. We'll have highlights from Kelso on Sunday on ITV News, while on Monday in Look Around, I'll bring you the best of the action from Earlston. Stuart Cameron, ITV News.